Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. Today, I'm going to show you how to use our new Create User webhook, which is an advanced option where you can automate the creation of users in your Frontly app based on triggers in external platforms. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings page and I'm going to go down to the new advanced section. There are only two settings in here right now. We'll probably be adding more soon. And you can see I have an API key, which is essentially a friendly auto-generated unique value. Um, mine says ABC123 for the purposes of this demo. Yours will be much longer and much more random and is essentially a secure password that you should not share with anybody because this is the password that is gonna need to be passed in the API request to authenticate with your Frontly app and confirm that you have the right permissions to create users in your app who will then be able to log in on their own. So this is really important. Um, if you've ever used an API key anywhere else, it's the same idea. Uh, so be careful with this API key. You will be required to use it when you create your request in this third party platform, whatever you're using to trigger an event, but otherwise, keep it secure and safe. Now, as one more layer of protection, um, this allow create users webhook toggle must be turned on for each, each individual app that you want to enable this feature for. The API key is at an organization level, so this does not change per app, but this toggle uh, will default to false and you will need to turn it on in order for this to work. It's just one more layer to prevent unauthorized access and accidentally creating users uh, for your account. So this is all I need. I'm gonna copy my ABC123. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this program that I use called Insomnia, which is a, uh, a platform for testing the creation of API requests and stuff like that. But this is just a really simple example. I can't give a demo of every other platform and so you will just have to figure out this part on your own in the third party app that you're using, but you can see the basics here. So all we have to do is we're gonna have to make a post request to this endpoint, which is api.frontly.ai slash create user webhook. Um, that's the, that's the whole endpoint URL. And then there are some optional and required parameters. You can see here, I've already filled mine out. Um, so these are the six uh, parameters that are gonna be sent in the post request body. Um, keep in mind, this is an advanced feature. So if you're not familiar with API requests, um, this may not be the feature for you, but if you're uh, familiar with APIs, you should find this pretty easy and you'll be able to trigger creation of users from automations and other platforms. So the subdomain is just the subdomain of your app. Uh, you know, you can find that on your settings page. This is something that you probably would have set. And then there is the email, which is the email of the new user that you're trying to create. Of course, this should be unique. If this email is not unique uh, for your particular app, if that user already exists, then this request will fail. Now, First name and last name are not required, but password is required. Finally, API key, which I have copied and pasted from my settings page, uh, that's the, the final thing that I need to put in here. So first name and last name are not required, but you can send them in if you have that information. You can also optionally send any of the custom user fields that you've added to your Frontly user model. So that's on the users page. If you've created those custom user fields, you can pass those in and those should be saved as well. So last but not least, I'm going to run a test here. So I have a email address called Patrick plus test one at frontlyapp.com. And if I go back to my users page, you can see I just have one user right now. And so I'm going to hit send and you can see I have a sample, well, not a sample, I have a real response here from the Frontly API. And if I go back and refresh my page, you can see that user has been created instantly in my account. And now if I wanted to go log into my demo account with that email and password, it would work. So that's all you need to know. It's actually very simple to set up 
uh, relatively if you're familiar with APIs. And we do have documentation outlining the basic steps and the parameters, which you'll be able to find in our help center. Thanks for watching.